So I thought I would do a short introduction video of what I'm going to talk about and then just show you what I'm doing on my phone. So I am going to explain and try to help you new people coming to Korea to buy tickets using your phone. If you have a smartphone, you can ooh, <laughs> if you have a smartphone, you can download an app on your phone that can help you buy tickets. See here's the app Kurori is what it says Korea. So there's the opening page, it's loading. Okay, I don't know what this says, but I always say okay. When you want to buy your ticket, you push this one. So like, even if you want to search for tickets, this is what you push. When you want to check your ticket time or see what ticket you have, you can go here. This last one is like a what train is closest to you in your area. So it shows me here. Um, okay, so we haven't bought a ticket yet, so I will show you how to search for one. So this is what it looks like when you want to search. So this first button, I have absolutely no idea what it is, so I just leave it alone. The second one is how you can choose what kind of train you want, but the ones that you want to look for if you're traveling across Korea are KTX, uh, Samo Ulho, and then the Mu. Okay, um, just for this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it open for all of them. So today, uh, let's go to tomorrow. So tomorrow is the 27th, and we want to look at all the trains available from midnight through the rest of the day. Um, let's just say we want to go from Seoul. So Seoul, um, you do need to know how to write these in Korean. So I recommend you, um, if you don't have, you know, a Korean phone already, you need to add the Korean keyboard to your phone, but it's really easy. I'm sure you can do that on your own. And you can always look up how you write these or type these things out on the internet if you don't know. So Seoul is the first one available. And let's say we want to go to Busan. So let's type it in. Uh, Busan. Okay. So we click that, so we have Seoul, and we want to go to Busan. Okay, now this is a really good thing that I figured out maybe about four times after using this. So this is the little guy in a chair reading something. It says, Joseok Jong Ryu. Ryu? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so you'll click that, and it, you can choose what kind of seat you want. So this Kibon is just, I guess, regular. It doesn't matter. You don't care what you want. But I usually prefer to go with the train in the direction it's going. I don't like to travel backwards. Um, this one is for traveling backwards. So like Yokbang. So the one I like is Sunbang. Um, and then this one uh, I guess is like a one-seater. But I don't really see those unless you are maybe in first class. So Changchuk is window. Nechuk is aisle. Okay. But for this, we'll just do kibun, kibun. Okay, this last one is if you're traveling with a child, you want to use your computer. I think if you're in the older ones, like the Mugonghua and the Simmo, it will put you near a um, power outlet, which is really useful because those train rides are longer from where I live, which is in Gyeongju, to Seoul. It's about a five hour train ride so you know if you want to listen to music or play on your phone or use your computer having a power outlet is really useful uh, especially when the train is so cheap and if you have the time you can just you know do whatever on the train that you could do elsewhere this last one oh there's two more this one is for a wheelchair and i guess this one maybe an electric uh, wheelchair and then pregnant ladies and then you have second level I guess and then if you bring a bike okay but for this we will just all do the same thing okay so this is how many people you're going with so let's say you want to go with a friend to Busan for the weekend you can count up to two or three four okay but for this we're just gonna say one traveler Okay, so we've got everything ready to go. Let's search. Okay, so 
what happens is you see what's available. So KTX, 5.30 a.m., arrives at 8.17, it's available. So we've got all these green ones, and then here at the KTX, 1.13 at 7.30, and arrives at 10.17, uh, it is red, that means it's sold out, you can't buy a ticket. So as you can see, we have a Mugung Hua Ho at 8.05, and it arrives in Busan at 1.33. There's a lot of KTXs because Seoul and Busan are the major cities in Korea. Um, there's also a Semaul Ho, which leaves at 10.55 and arrives at 3.55. So let's just buy the KTX at hmm, 1.30. So we'll click that and you have this pop up. So this far right one, you click and it shows you what cities you go through and about what time. So in this one, it starts in Hengshin and then it arrives at Seoul Station at 1.20, departs at 1.30. Then you go through Chunan Asan at uh, 2.03, and then you arrive in Daejeon, Dongdaegu, Shingyeongju, and then finally Busan, okay? So this last button shows you what cities or towns you go through and about what time. This middle one here shows you the price of the ticket. So first class is 74,601. This next one is for children and this one is for um, elderly. So that's first class. The second group is for regular or economy. So from Seoul to Busan, it's 53,301. Children, 26,601. And elderly is um, 37,301. For this bottom one, I think that is standing. So like say both economy and first class are sold out, then you would have to um, buy one of these if there's standing room available and as you can see standing room is still pretty expensive It's 50,601 and a regular economy seat is 53,301 okay this last one means yes I want to buy you so now you put in your info Okay, so I typed in, this is not what you would really type in, but I don't want to put in my real information. So this would be your name, your phone number, and a five-digit PIN number, basically. Then you'll push this button at the bottom. This is Im Imyuk. Um, this one over here, Chiso, means cancel, but we don't want to cancel. We want to buy this ticket. So then you'll choose what kind of ticket you want. You can't buy the Sandy ticket on the phone. So you have to either choose first class or regular. So we're gonna choose regular. This button on the left, if it is available, it means you can choose your seat, which is really useful because you can choose the car number and see which seats are available. So like, let's see, we wanna sit in car six. Oh, but look, if you can tell through the phone, these lighter gray ones mean they're already taken. Like 5C is available, 6A through D is available, 7A through D is available. Okay, so this is on the KTX. Um, when you take a Samul train or Mugunghua, like I said earlier, they have um, outlet plugs. So where those are located are in the front and very back of the train. So you would want a 1A to 1D or a 14A to 14D. That is where you would be able to charge your um, electronics and such. So I would definitely recommend using this if you want to book a seat with an outlet plug. However, the KTX does not have any because it is so fast. Okay, so we want to buy this one. Loading. So I think this is saying you are about to you know, buy this ticket, are you sh just double checking that you want to buy it? So it shows us what we're buying. KTX uh, 143 from Seoul to Busan at 1.30 arrives at 4.08. We want one ticket, it's 53,301. 
Do we want to buy it? Yes, we do. If you want to go back, you can choose this button. So we'll click um, bulk one. This is to log in and pay. So what you'll do is put your card number here. It says card bonho, which is card number. The expiration date goes here. So 12, 2015, whatever. Uh, the first two digits of your PIN number. Um, I don't know what this is, so I'll just leave it alone and nothing bad has ever happened. Um, this is your alien registration number or your, if you're Korean, I guess, your um, national number. So like for Americans, your social security. It's a number that all um, people in Korea have to have. So it would just be the last, um, I think, seven digits. Uh, just look at your card. <laughs> and this last one, I don't know what it is. But you also just leave it alone. Okay, when you've put all that in, you can buy your ticket. So let me type in my stuff and buy it. Um, I'm not going to show you me purchasing it because it would show you all my info. So I'll be back. Okay, so I pushed the button and it was loading. And now it says, you know, this is what you're buying. It's 53,301. And this says, yes, you want to buy it. Okay, so this is what my ticket looks like. It has a time where you leave from, when you arrive, how much it was. This would have been a discount if we had maybe ordered the ticket a week or two in advance. Sometimes it happens, which is nice because you can save a couple thousand won. Um, this is the car number and the seat number that you have. If you want to cancel this ticket, because I do, I'm not going anywhere, you will click um, this bottom button and then when it loads, it says something like, Banhan, but if you like say you had more than one ticket, make sure this one has that gray circle in it, otherwise, you've deselected it. But since this is the only one we purchased, we'll just push this and now it's gone. See, obsumnida means like not there or you know, you don't have it, so there's no ticket. Whoops, okay, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, you know. It took me a while to understand this, maybe two or three times before it just, you know, clicked. But now it's really easy to buy tickets or to check train times. And, you know, I do it, like, all the time because train is one of the best ways to get around Korea. Okay, so that was my video for February. I hope you found it useful if you're new to Korea or if you want to, you know, buy a train ticket. I've had some of my friends ask me to you know, teach them how to do that because, you know, they're always buying their train tickets last minute. So maybe they will also find this useful. Um, I hope you all have a great day or night or whatever, wherever you are. And um, hopefully my next video is up before the very end of March, okay? See you later. Bye.